lots and lots of shit. Batman, what happened? The less you know, the better your mental uh, capability will be. Better you not know, Jim. Too much shit happened. Now, if I'm right... If I'm right... I got one more mission. That was the end of the main game. Joker's a pimp drug lord. <laughs> well then. Oh, I don't? I'm gonna let, oh no I do, it's after credits, that's right. I'm gonna let credits roll. <laughs> Police and Suicide Squad, true. <clears throat> Oh. I mean, they changed the comics so much that it, who knows anything. I mean, in one, in one story, like in the current Teen Titans, him and Talia have a kid, which has been in almost every comic. They have Damien, who becomes a Robin. In another comic, I know him and Catwoman got married and had a daughter. So. And then that changed again. So. Anyway, my credits roll. Um, I'm going to do the last little bit of the main story. When uh, it loads up, we'll read the last line of stories that I needed to do. I never. I just realized that. <laughs> um, then next week we'll start and I'll read some more of the stories because next week we are going to continue Arkham City, but we're going to be doing all the side quests in one stream. Um, before I end today, I'm going to read that. We're going to do the extra mission that's going to show up after the stream, uh, after the credits. And then before we get off, I will, because I said I do one after New Game Plus and then I do one after Harley Quinn's Revenge. We will look at the character trophies. But then after next week, um, after we do side quests, because I plan on finishing side quests. All that. Did you get dreads once? Yeah, he had dreads once in. Is it Batman Beyond? It might have been Batman Beyond. I know which one you mean. No, no, it wasn't Batman Beyond. It was one of those. It was one of the movies. I know which movie. I know what you're talking about though. Um, then after next week, if I should finish most of the side quests. Never mind. I'm going to be interrupted. Oh, yeah. This is going to happen because I forgot Joker likes to sing in the credits. But if I finish all the side quests next week, we are starting Harley Quinn's Revenge the week after. Tomorrow, I will not be on Twitch. I will be on my mixer because Twitch doesn't let me stream the Minecraft game. That I stream with my friends. We will be on Mixer streaming Minecraft to the end. Sunday we'll be back on Twitch here with Titanfall 2. And Monday I will be joined by Ruby again and we will be continuing Go Through Conarco Road. And then throughout the week I'm probably going to play some of the Overwatch event on Tuesday or Wednesday depending on which I choose. Um, and then I plan on finishing Back to the Future this week as well. That should be my plan for the next week. Minus Batman, which I have planned for two weeks. And once I finish Titanfall 2 Sunday, because I'm finishing Titanfall 2 Sunday too, because it's a very short campaign. Um... Me and Ruby will be starting Dead Island. Am I able to? Nope. Alright, 
here, Zach, if you're interested in anything here. Oh, I didn't type. Hold on. That's the social links if you want to follow all of that. No, oh, Mixer's not on there. Hold on. As Nightbot runs the Mixer command automatically. And have a good day, Zach, by the way. I'm just going to let credits run. Let credits run their doom, and then we will continue with everything else. All right, Zach. Yeah, and have a good day. This this needs to get muted because all the small random noises are making me upset from that. I like letting credits roll, but I for I, I always forget people don't add that in.
I don't know exactly how long these credits take. I think I've always ended up skipping them in the end. Because I don't believe there's anything... I, I always don't like skipping credits because watching so many fucking Marvel movies, there could be a scene after something. Sometimes there's games that don't like put something at the end of the credits, but if you skip the credits, you don't see it. I know some games do it. It's a good way to get them to like go look at your credits and that, which I'm I'm fine with. Like, don't get me wrong. That's completely do it. it. Means getting you your credits and getting the recognition. I'm all for it. I let it run for like one more minute. Honestly, actually, no. I'm just gonna end it. Then this end the credits. I mean, real quick, because it should give us the Catwoman mission. Because I I can't keep sitting because I got errands I stopped to run today and I forgot about that. Boom. I got errands I gotta run today, so I gotta. Finish up streaming soon. Time to get my things and quit this damn town for good. In a minute, we will, Catwoman. Um. So, we're gonna start and we're just gonna go all the way down to here. The Falcone family. The Falcones are America's oldest surviving crime family. Generation after generation has rolled the underworld with iron fists, preferring to stay away from more colorful supervillain activities. They maintain legitimate business interests, including garbage collection and shipping companies. Current head of the Falcone uh, of the family, Carmine the Roman Falcone, is feared by all and until recently had a city in his pocket, but something has changed. Quincy Sharp, the newly effect elected mayor, and a man who should be afraid of him was not. Carmine's attempts to intimidate Sharp has resulted in the henchman mysteriously in his henchman mysteriously disappearing. Has struck back with the Tiger Guards closing down Foucault's operations all over the city. A family business. If Hugo Strange's Tiger Guards grip on the city tightened. Up. A Falcone family meeting was called. It was very simple. Stay in Gotham and face arrest and imprisonment in Arkham City or leave. The younger members of the family argued that Falcone's run from no one, but in the end, it was the, Ro it was the Romans' decision. The next day, the entire family packed up and left Gotham, heading to the relatively safety of Bloodhaven. Yeah, because uh, Nightwing isn't there or that. A sick plan, one of three. After Batman stopped him from escaping Arkham Asylum, the Joker sat alone in his padded cell, knowing something was wrong. The first sign was an unusual lump on his shoulder. He felt tainted. Weeks went by, and ten more unusual lumps appeared. The Titan had done something to him. Bad, something that he was that wasn't funny at all. The Joker was dying. He knew it, and soon so would anyone who saw him. 
The last thing he needed was to appear weak before his rivals. So one day at lunch, the Joker took a spoon and dug out another inmate's eyes. That this would get him solitary confinement.